Hey guys, Sock here from Socky Tech, and in today's video, I want to talk about a slightly different product. This here is the Varla Eagle One scooter, a super fast scooter that is not only great for commuting over smooth roads or rough roads, but also has off roading capabilities thanks to its brilliant suspension. So let's dive in and see exactly what's going on. It does have a top speed of 40 miles per hour, which is approximately 64 kilometers. It's going to be based on your weight. So it's going to be faster if you're lighter, but if you're a little bit heavier, it's going to be a little bit slower. But the maximum payload is going to be around 330 pounds. All right, so let's quickly look at the controls. Over here, we have the bell. Okay. Now here we have the eco and the turbo mode. By pressing this, you go from eco to turbo. And then you can use the single or the dual motor for maximum speed and torque. Additionally, if I come over here, first and foremost, you do need a key to start this. So here's the key. You put this in, then you turn it, and it's going to turn on. And then you have a screen here. You press on the mode. I'm sorry, the, the power button. That's going to turn that on, okay? If you tap on mode, you can go to gear 2, gear 3. So you can go from 1, 2, 3. That's the speed in kilometers. And then at the bottom, you have your odometer. Also, if you're in the third gear and you enable the dual mode and the turbo mode, you're just going to go insanely fast with high-end torque. And this here is the throttle that you can use to accelerate the, uh, the scooter. Okay, these are the brakes. Do not confuse it with the throttle. Throttle, brakes, brakes. All right, so let's see how fast this thing is. We have it right here. I'm going to turn on the turbo mode. And I'm gonna turn on the dual motors and I'm gonna put the whole thing in third gear. One, two, three. All right, let's go. Alright, so that was pretty fast. Uh, it was showing up to 56 kilometers per hour, which is almost 35 miles, and I am 195 pounds. Now, one of the greatest features of this scooter is that we do have independent rear and front suspension, as you can see. So that's going to allow it to absorb any shocks, no problem. So with uh, standard scooters, you feel the discomfort caused by rough roads. On this one, because we have the rear and the front suspension, that is going to be dual shock absorption. So that is going to make your ride safer and more comfortable. And we also have fenders on the rear here, so you're not going to see anything splashing onto your clothes as you're riding this. And of course, we also have a fender on the front. Starts from here, goes all the way to here, so it is not going to splash anything uh, on your clothes either. So you can easily drive this off-road and not worry about your clothes getting dirty. Now the deck that you step on is pretty wide, so it gives you a nice, stable place to stand on a lot of room to stabilize and also you can actually customize this desk these stickers you get four of these guys when you buy this you can peel and remove this and put the one that you like to get a customized feel and look the grip is great because we have this eggshell surface so you're not going to slip out of this very nice and grippy as you can see and like i said very wide and long for perfect stability this whole thing is in fact foldable. So over here, you have two clamps. You can actually release these. Once you release them, you pull up the lever and this thing will be able to be folded down. And then you can actually take this in your car to a remote location for some adventure. By the way, the brakes on the scooter are rock solid. These are dual hydraulic brakes, 
front and rear with an ABS system. So that allows for smooth and safe stopping power when necessary. Now the Varla scooter has two charging ports, one right here, one right here. You get one charger in the box. It is plugged into a regular outlet, as you can see. So that's gonna charge this scooter from zero to a hundred in around nine hours. Now, if you buy another charger, you can use the second port to increase the speed of the charging, which should charge the scooter from zero to a hundred in around five hours. And of course, the battery is built into the chassis right here. I wasn't able to test the battery life fully, but Warla says you get 40 miles of range with a full charge as long as you ride it at the slowest setting. If you use the maximum power and the highest speed, that could drop to 20 miles of range, which still is not pretty bad. Now for nighttime driving, you can see that the Warla scooter has front lights. These are LED lights and also has rear lights. Now the rear lights are great for visibility. Uh, the front lights are not that bright to see the road ahead of you, but they're great for visibility, meaning you can easily be seen by somebody ahead of you, okay? And one more thing I wanna show you guys with the rear lights here is they're on like this at all times, but when you engage the brakes, they blink. So that's great. When you engage the brakes, they start to blink. And of course, that is also great for visibility. So you're not gonna need these lights in daytime because they take some battery. So if when you don't need them, you just come over here, you press and hold on the mode, and that's gonna turn them off, okay? When you press and hold on the mode again, it's gonna turn them on. And also, you get a little light here on the LED display showing you that the lights are on and off. So let me turn that off, go on back in business so overall what really stood out to me with the varla scooter is how fast it is thanks to those dual motors it really has insane torque for a scooter the superb suspension allows for a comfortable ride on rough roads and also it is capable of off-roading if you are looking for a capable scooter with a sturdy build that can handle any terrain this is certainly an option to consider and again, it just happens to be pretty fast. So links to buy this guy at best pricing is going to be down below. All right, so if you found this video useful, make sure to subscribe to Saki Tech by clicking that button and also click that bell icon on the side to make sure you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you do use Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook, you can follow me at Saki Tech online to get the latest updates as well. All right, have a fantastic day.